Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the Master Vox Obstructor. It is a flawless mission, so you will get, if you copy this and you manage to complete it, you will get the No Ghost Needed Triumph. I'm doing it on Night Stalker. Most of what I've got set up on Night Stalker is for Invis. Uh, I've used Echo Dilation as a fragment to get plus 10 mobility and intellect. Nothing to do with the crouching. And I put on Echo of Obscurity to get t plus 10 recovery and get Invis when I finish an enemy. Echo of Starvation is obviously for Devour. And uh, Echo of Persistence is so my Invis will last longer. Uh, hand Cannon for Unstoppable. I, I used it because it's got Explosive Payload. I don't actually get many kills with it. So you can use any Hand Cannon in that slot. Under Your Skin is what I get most of my kills with, the, the Combat Bow, Explosive Head Land Tank, very good. The Lament Sword, because it's back on the menu, so why not use it? Uh, on the Cloak, I would exchange, what you're going to see in the video, I would exchange Bomber for Elemental Charge. I forgot to put Elemental Charge on. Still keep Lucent Finisher on, but just put Elemental Charge, so when you pick up a well you'll get times two chargeable light. Sword Scavenger, Bountiful Wells on the leg armor. And then obviously we're using Sith Kyoto for the double dodge. Uh, because we've got Lucent Blade on, which increases your damage for five seconds with a sword, you need to put on a dedicated arc mod. So don't, don't put two of the thermal shock plating on. Put one and then an arc resist. And that will give you the Lament's secondary uh, perk which is greatly increases the charge rate for your equipped weapon so you're, you'll get your heavy attack back faster on the gauntlets we've got powerful friends which gives us plus 20 mobility uh, unstoppable hand cannon and I've put on momentum transfer because again to get the secondary perk which is the plus 20 mobility you need to have a dedicated arc mod on the same piece of armor Sword Finder, Harmonic Siphon, and Elemental Ordnance on the helmet. Uh, the Siphon basically is, is to produce orbs alike to get Devour. So try and get 100 mobility. You really do need 100 mobility just to get the dodge back as fast as you can. And you want at least 6 resilience. And you should be all set. So when you first come in, just go right down to the left hand side and take this Unstoppable. Now this is a bit of a spoiler. But just in case anybody was worried, no barrier champions were harmed during the making of this video. That's correct. We are not going to take any of the barriers because barriers have this unique ability to one hit stomp you. And it happened, maybe I, I tried this a, quite a few times, maybe about six or seven times. Uh, I, I managed to get the solo a couple of times. I just, just needed to fine tune it to get the flawless. And the amount of runs that were stopped by a barrier champion just stomping me and killing me. It didn't matter if I blocked with a sword, I was dead. So I decided there aren't a ton of these that really get in my way, except for the boss room. So I'm, I'm just going to avoid them all. And that, that is what I've done. Uh, so you just make your way through. The timer starts, you get four and a half minutes. It starts when, when you take the, when you've got to steal one of the vehicles. And then, and then you'll have four and a half minutes. So we're going to be taking this first tank. We're going to we're going to get in here. We're going to take this unstoppable, and then we're going to take take the take the the vehicle down to the first tank. And then we're just going to set about the first tank with a sword. Now there is kind of a way to do it, and the way to do it is there's three turrets. You've got to take those turrets down so you're not getting battered by by uh, turrets when you're trying to take the, the tank down. Uh, so you'll take those turrets down and then what you're going to do, throw a grenade on the tank and then go after the tank with a sword, but hit it about three or four times, then do a big hit and then dodge back out the way. Because the tank's going to explode a little bit and it's also going to be throwing seeking kind of close range uh, personal defense <laughs> missiles. You don't want anything to do with them. And the minute you go in Viz, they lose their tracking. Once you do that, you'll see me do that right here. I'm just going to take this third turret out. And then we're going to dodge so that the tank doesn't get the heads up on us. Throw the grenade. And then one, two, three. And a big hit. Now I'm going for the legs. So that does more damage. You can see the tank wants none of it. Just trying to run away. So then I go back in. Hit two or three shots. And then I'm out. That's the tank down. Back away. 
let this let your Drake tank land because this thing can bounce like a beach ball. And if it hits you when it bounces, that's it. As soon as you get in the tank, m just move the tank slightly to the right. As you see me do that. Because if you don't, you get caught in that little dip. And that's the difference between getting hit with all the rockets from the ship and the, the champion. Once you make it over here, just go up to the right, up those dunes a little bit so that the champion doesn't have a clear bead on you. And as you can see, we, and this happened nearly every time that I had that amount of health on the tank going into this next area. First thing you want to do, as most people know, you've got to take out the three towers. You've got to drop their, their energy shields. And that's by exploding these kind of things at the front, these tanks at the front. And that drops the energy shield, which makes a... You'll see, you can see in the back there, there's like a white panel, a, a white energy panel. You've got to hit that a couple of times to, to, to destroy that. And that's that's a tower taken care of. But what we're going to do to start with is take the tanks. Once you take the tanks, you gain the ability to be able to respawn this tank, which means then you can be a little bit more kind of Hail Mary. You can see I'm a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm just driving around this tank. I always go for that first one at the bottom. And then, again, try and hit the legs. You see, I've got the tank there. My tank's about to explode. It's all good. Just dodge, go invis. As you can see, because I've took both of them, there's two places you can summon a tank from. Here and up to our right. So once you take those three exploding things down in front of each of the towers, you, you drop the energy shield, and that allows you to, to shoot that white panel. You're also going to have these threshers. There's one for each tower. It's worthwhile. Once you take a tower... It's worth, worthwhile taking them down because they can be a, a real pain to move them forward. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. There's also two unstoppables that are going to chase you. And there's turrets. It's, I, I really, really want to say I like this mission. <laughs> but I don't... I, 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 I'm not a fan of the fact that the Master gives you double to triple the champions with the same amount of time. It's, it, but it is what it is. So as you can see, that's... Once you take those those exploding canisters in front of the the towers to drop the tower's energy shield. Once you take them and then you shoot the white panel on each of the towers, timer stops. The timer will not restart until you enter the building, until you get to the basically the the rally flag. So what I'm gonna do now, because I'm I'm not really bored about taking the champions, they're not requisite to completing this. You just need to get through it in the time limit. So once I've took the threshers down, that's the last of the threshers, I'm going to try and fire a, a shot, which for some reason, the tank's got aim assist or something. Uh, it, it was it was, it was was auto aiming at the two champions up top. I'll drive over here, dodge, go and fizz. I've already, you've got to shoot with the tank through this wall and break through the door. And then now we're on to the second timed part of the mission. Now, as soon as you rally, you see there, we've got 10 minutes. That includes the boss fight. So it's, you're going to be tight for time, hence why I'm doing it on the Hunter. So that I can go about my business unhindered as much as possible. So I'm just going to do a little dodge. I'm going to go right past these. To get the door to open, you have to take the two uh, unstoppable. So what we're going to do, wait for them to come round. Hit one, try and stop the other one. Now, normally, my super would kill both of them, but it didn't, and normally the door would open. The reason it didn't is because the other one never came round fast enough. So we'll stop him. He'll jump out the way. We'll stop him again, and then I'll just clear him with my my uh, my sword. Dodge to go invis, and then I'm off. I'm just going to run, there's an unstoppable down here, I'm just going to run past him and dodge here. Once I dodge, he's like, oh, I don't know where he's gone. Cool. Drop down here and then land into the right, or, or up here. And take these first set of snipers and there's like, I think there's four snipers and there's two phalanx. Take those, there's an exploding barrel just behind this phalanx. If, if you can't see the other sniper, just crouch down and hit the exploding barrel just to make sure he's dead. In each of these rooms, you're going to have an unstoppable. So, take the unstoppable has to be 
your main priority and then nearly all the rooms are made up the same way you can push over here to the right and you're in cover now in this room this first this is the first room i go to there are two void shielded incendiaries take them out you've also got a, sh a, a scion and a bubble and you'll also have a shielded scion to break to drop the shield on the elite scion you have to kill the scion commander and then once you kill the, the psionic warden, I think that's his name, uh, you hack their system by inputting his psionic code in there. There are three rooms like that to complete. So what we plan on doing is bypassing, because there's a couple of ads in here. There's, there's a barrier and an unstoppable. We're not interested in any of them. So we'll get over here and then we'll re-dodge. And then I'm going to use this block behind me, this cargo thing for a bit of cover. And then we'll stop him and do the exact same thing again. Now in this room, we're going to have Centurions. Two uh, uh, Solar Shielded Centurions. I, I, I am utilizing my Invis when I need it. I normally I normally try and go Invis when I'm going after the, the, the Psionic Cold Warden. If he fires his sniper shot, it's not really the shot you've got to worry about. It's the void trail that it leaves. That's what you've got to worry about. So, that is why I used... That is why I put the, 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 the aspect on Stylus Executioner. If I throw my smoke at an ad and it affects them and then I kill them, I get 12 seconds of invids. Which, in the boss room, I will use a couple of... once or twice just to give my dodge chance to fully reload to fully charge so what i'm going to do now you see i stopped with the big big hit uh blocked so that the, the solar wouldn't really hurt me too much and there we go we got one viz i don't i dodged because i was i wasn't sure i was going to get the invis i done that because i wanted to finish him to make sure i go into the boss room with full heavy now we're going to have once we've took those out, in this room I always come over here to take the unstoppable so that I can get the heavy before we get to the boss. So we've taken out the two phalanxes, dodge, taken out the, 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 the scion commander, uh, and then we'll take out the cold warden, input the cold. I've got 47 heavy, but I have a brick here. There we go, 58. So what i done this wrong here. As you can see, I come out, I was just on autopilot. What normally happens is, there's normally a sniper there. And I normally throw my smoke on the sniper. Then I come down here and, and, and take him out with, sorry, I throw my grenade on the sniper. Dodge, go past, and I keep my smoke for when I get to the bottom. I throw my smoke on the turret, then kill the turret. That makes me, gives me 12 seconds of invis. When you get into the boss room, Obviously, the champions that you skipped will still be there. Uh, so, I, I come over to the right, and I wait for the boss. The boss will always come to the right-hand side to start with. Then, once I've dealt damage to him, this is going to be the game now. The game is going to be do damage, try and take... Do damage until you make an invis. Using the same... Now, you see there the smoke? Take one of the one of the ads affected by the smoke. I now have twelve. I had twelve seconds of invis, which allowed my two dodges to completely recharge. Now I've got two dodges, so now I'm going to take the last two turrets. I think I've got one more scion to take. There is going to be a barrier champion about, so be very wary of the barrier champion. The ads, the minute they get a bead on you, they'll come after you. The ads, if you go near the boss. You have to expect that the ads are going to follow you. So you want to lead them on a bit of a merry chase. If you do get suppressed, the, the boss has three attacks. Fireballs and suppression. You see there, I've come over, the boss has came right over to me. And I'm just going to put as much as I can on him. Dodge, get out of there. Whenever you attack the boss, make sure you've got a dodge ready to go. Because you need to be invis, or you don't need to be. But being invis to escape is almost a must. So I'm just waiting here. This is his other attack, his fireballs. 
If you go invis when they come, they lose their tracking. If you if you don't, they will track you. So now I'm just gonna big hits. He is now he is now gone immune for the second time. So it's rinse and repeat. I'm gonna use what invis to get placement to take out two turrets, and then we're off. Now there's ads behind us, so I am gonna use my dodge. I'm gonna wait here. I I'm okay for now. My dodge is almost back. I'll melee him. So now we've got one more, I think, one or two more scions. Two more scions. And we're in the last, once we take these other scions, we're in the last phase of damage. So I'm now looking to see if I've got time to take a turret. I do. I'll go over here. Melee this. There's one more to take down. I need to dodge to have a look where the last turret is. There he is. Once I take this turret, I've got... Uh, I wouldn't say the freedom, but I've got a little bit of freedom to run about. For me, this is the most difficult part now. Because what you've got to remember, so we're gonna we're gonna melee him. That is now as you can see Quabic's insurgent is no longer shielded. There's gonna be a heap of ads coming at us. There's a champion. We want nothing to do with these barrier champions. That is why this is the most difficult part, because there's a couple of them up. What I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to find, because there's about 30 or 40 ads chasing us, dogs and uh, all sorts of all sorts of enemies. I've thrown my grenades, you can see those, I used to call them butchers, but they're not, they're gladiators. He's been affected by my smoke, so I manage, as long as I don't swing my sword, I'll stay in this. And it, it's allowed my two, my two dodges to charge. Now what we've got is we've got the bosses up there on that walkway with the champions. We can't stand here and wait because the ads are coming. So like I said, you've got to leave the ads on a bit, bit of a merry, merry runabout. So he's firing his solar attack. Even though I, I was invis, the minute I come out of being invis, they will come after me. I'm invis, so the, the, the ads didn't really know where I was. So... I knew I was going to have a dodge to escape. Watch out for that solar, those solar uh, pipes in the centre. They do burn. So now I'm just making it away. Uh, I'm just trying to make make it away to get my dodges. I see the boss is over in the centre. This is a this is this is a Kodak Yolo moment. I've just decided because we're down to 30 seconds, because it is tight for time, I just yoloed the boss. The reason I went for him when I did was because he was up here in the middle. I knew that any ads that were coming for me would have to find a position to jump up. There were two champions, that's why I got the other side of him, so that he could block some of the champion shots, which he did. And that's how you do it. Invis, move. You know, once he goes in to get him in his immune phase, track him. Go after him when you've got rid of the enemies. Should take one or two uh, sword attacks to get him in his immune phase. And then use your invisibility to move around the map to take the turrets down. Take two at a time if you can, and then move. Two at a time, move. Use your smoke on adds, and then kill them to get the big invis. You can even utilize finishers to get the invis. To allow your dodges to charge. Make sure you've always got a dodge when you go after the boss. And that's it, guys. I'm not going to tell you that this is a really, really easy mission to do. Because it's probably one of the most difficult. Uh, but I'm pretty sure with practice and this loadout, you'll get the flawless. And you do get a triumph for it. Uh, and that's the run, guys. I was supposed to be putting out my Titan run today. My Titan build, sorry. That is getting shoved back till tomorrow. I'll get that out tomorrow. Uh, because this needed to get out. I felt this was more important. But the Titan build will be out tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope this helps you guys get through it. For anybody that needs it. Take it easy guys. Enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.